So the other day someone asked me if I could show him how to create a testimonial slider using Smart Slider 3. I know the Smart Slider 3 can be a bit intimidating to use at first, but once you start using it, you're gonna get used to it. And uh, I, I'm just gonna show you guys exactly how to create it. The only thing is what I've done right now is I've already created a template and I created this template using the template library and all these free free templates in here. Uh, the one I used is the free full width template and uh, I've modified it a bit. I deleted some of the slides in here and uh, I decreased the height from 700 to 400 and enabled autoplay, changed the interval to 4000 ms and I edited the slide a bit just to show you guys uh, exactly how to set it up. Um, I've, what I've done over here is I've changed the background uh, from an image to a color and I chose a color using these uh, background options and uh, to modify the actual slide what I did is I will show you exactly how to do this um, I'll, I'll just redo it in front of you guys so what we have here is a completely new slide and uh, a slider and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and change the height like I did for the other one to 400 px and uh, Enable the autoplay. Make that 4000 ms. And uh, we're gonna delete a couple of these slides. And edit the first slide. So for the background, I'm gonna change this to color. If you want an image, you can choose an image using this option. Um, like I said, I'm going to use a color background. So you can see it looks kind of like the other slide I was showing you a while ago, but I've made a few changes. What I did is I got rid of this short story text element by pressing delete. And uh, you can change the size of this text element by going into the design options. And what I did is I made this 22px, but maybe make it 24px, a bit more bigger and visible. And uh, you can drag and drop these elements according to your preference. And uh, I'm going to change this read more button to view all. Or we could make it view all testimonials or reviews, whichever you prefer and uh, drag and make this a bit more centered I guess. All right. okay so the next thing you need to do is duplicate this layer and uh, I'm gonna change this to your name or maybe name of writer whatever you prefer um, I'm just writing this down for the heck of, of the video tutorial so now I'm gonna change this What you need to do now is place an image in here. I'm gonna use this placeholder and just drag it here. Looks pretty okay to me. So that's your desktop version of your slider. And what we can do with the Smart Slider 3 is we can make our slider responsive and we can choose to design exactly how it looks on the cell phone as well and the tablet as well I'm gonna check what it looks like on the tablet and as I can see 
it's not quite centered you could just you know drag it and make a few adjustments here a bit better you could also have elements that are only visible on the tablet let's say I'm thinking maybe the text could be a bit bigger on the tablet since there's a lot of space over here so what we could do is we could just duplicate this layer and uh, in the settings or we could use this um, quick options over here we could just disable this text on the other devices and uh, make the text bigger let's say 30px and if this is getting confusing you can go to your desktop and um, click this text element and disable it on the tablet device so this element is now only editable on the tablet device and we could also do the same thing for this element duplicate it and then make it invisible on the other devices and then go to your desktop and then make the original element invisible on the tablet we could do the same thing for the phone but we're gonna do that when we get to it so now I can you know resize this element to maybe 24px and uh, drag it to wherever I want it to be and if you want to do the same thing for the we all testimonial testimonial layer you could do that for that to just make it visible on the tablet only and then make the original layer invisible on the tablet now we can go ahead and change the size of this button and you can do the same thing for your placeholder just drag it and make it a bit bigger and there you go so this is our tablet view it's a little bigger and more visible since the screens are smaller and now we're gonna go into our cell phone view and you can see this is barely readable over here and we're gonna do the same steps uh, again for this layer we're gonna duplicate it and then disable this on all other devices and then go back to your original one and then disable it on the cell phone so now you can drag and drop this and I'm just gonna do this for all these other layers So now you have all these elements that are only visible on the cell phone. So you can now, you know, play with them and not worry about any of these other views. So what I'm going to do over here is increase the size. You can also, there you go. And uh, you can just place anything anywhere you like. everything visible for your 
yourself on viewers. <coughs> for yourself on viewers. So yeah, uh, now we have three versions of the slider, and uh, as you can see, they look different on all devices, but they're like that's the way it should be. They should be responsive and you should be able to see them properly on all devices so i'm going to save this here and uh, what we're going to do is go back to the slider and uh, duplicate this layer so what we have here is uh, we have two slides and uh, since my testimonials can't be separate for the purpose of this video I'm just gonna change the background to a different color to be able to identify these slides when they are animating and I'm gonna go back to the slider and create a new page here So, just to see what our testimonial slider looks like, uh, this is how it looks, and uh, that's the animation, the regular animation that you get with the demo slider that we uh, used, and uh, you could change the um, intervals, uh, the size of the interval or you could also change the animation um, what I'm gonna show you is uh, how responsive this is uh, the work we did on making it responsive Alright, so this looks uh, pretty good and uh, what I'm going to show you now is how to change the animations a bit. So let's say I don't want to use the animation that we saw out there and uh, you could choose the animation over here uh, the main animation it's gonna be horizontal that's fine and uh, you could choose animations over here there are six animations uh, you could choose to scale it left or fade it or have random animations happen on their own time you can choose more than one animation and it could randomly animate it for you like I could do that too and just save it and we could just check out all these different animations that the Smart Slider 3 has and uh, there's the puzzle one That's probably one of the other ones, the curtain one. So I think that was the scale to left. That's the puzzle. And uh, yeah, I can't see all of them right now, but let's see. 
Yeah, there's scale to left and the curtain to left. They look kind of similar to me. Oh, that's curtain to left. That was not visible before. So yeah, you could do different animations and you could use all these uh, different options and uh, create responsive testimonial sliders and other sliders and do a lot more things with this uh, amazing plugin. So I hope this was an easy to follow video and uh, you found it useful. If uh, you are learning web design or are finding these useful uh, videos useful, please follow my channel and uh, subscribe to my videos. Thank you for watching and have a great day.